What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pyrotechnic Plays Nocturne Rebirth. Alright, last episode, I got lost. Uh, yeah, I got lost pretty darn good, too. So, I'm going to start at the beginning again. So, let's go ahead and pop on back over to... Just like the entrance of the Hill of the Cross. We're going to completely scan that area. Make sure there's nothing that we're missing. Even though I'm probably running past the area like right now or something. So the music gets quieter every time I go down a level two. I noticed. Yeah, it's definitely getting louder. Oh my god, I progressed a crock. M Mr. Riviel! <clears throat> what do you want, human? Uh, well... A funeral mass for those who passed away during the recent vampire incidents will be held shortly at the cere cemetery. Is it okay if you can at least turn up for the mass? Please? Yeah. He's being really rough. It looks like you're still clueless about your own position, aren't you? Ugh. A funeral mass? How pointless. How utterly pointless. Souls that have left the world can never return. And mourning for the dead isn't going to bring them back. One who is dead is dead. Nothing more than that. Besides, why do I have to take part in such a meaningless event? sound of wind. Just reveal the narrating. Am I messing up the narration already? Hmm. Humans have no doubt repeated this religious ceremony for who knows how many times. Humans are born and live to die. And this process only repeats itself over and over again. cycle of birth and death that's the only thing that's that's the only thing about humans that's eternal it's a cycle of life and death how pointless indeed mr. Reviel, she's a glutton for punishment I I don't know like I know she likes him. I mean, I like Luna, but she's this motherfucker has choked her like the last two times. Come on. <laughs> so what is it that you want to tell me? You could have just gotten straight to the point earlier and not asked me to watch that farce. I, I just, I just want to express my gratitude to you. Express your gratitude. Ever since you and I first met, the village and I have always been receiving help from you. During the first time we met, you saved me from bandits. In order to save Midia from a <clears throat> from a curse, you brought me to get a rare herb for her. You defeated a vicious vampire and brought peace to our village. You protected me from a dagger throw. And when I was captured by Idith, 
You alone came hurrying to save me. You've helped me so many times. Unlike me, who can't even take care of myself. For once, I just want to properly thank you. The fact that the village and I still exist today, it's all thanks to you, Mr. Olivia. I truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> How foolish. I've never seen anyone as delusional as you. First of all, I merely drove those bandits and that worthless vampire away so there would be nothing to disrupt my hunt. Second, I wouldn't have bothered getting that rare herb or bringing you along if it wasn't... if I wasn't going to visit my old friend. Third, I purposely let the dagger hit me so as to ascertain any potential prey. And fourth, I merely planned to crush it if she foolishly tried to take me down. I didn't plan to save you. Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever thought about why I even stayed in that small village of yours anyway? Because the more prey, the merrier. That's all there is to it. Prey? What you want is blood, right? Yes. The blood of humans. I'm interested in nothing but that. In that case... Act this. And I got to be serious about it too. That's the diff that's the most difficult part of this. Alright. <clears throat> right. Please suck my blood, Mr. Reviel. That way you'll be able to quench your thirst. You dimwit. Do you have any idea what you're saying? A human dies once his or her blood gets sucked out by a vampire. From there, see the, the human rots away, becomes a dark disciple, which is nothing more than a puppet, or becomes a vampire that hysterically seeks the blood of other humans. Regardless, you're bound to die if I suck your blood. There's no exception. Yes, I know. You gonna get that neck? Get lost! I don't want to suck your blood. Your neck is filthy. Look, his face is like. Ugh. Don't show up in front of me ever again. Otherwise, I'll kill you. I swear I will. Mr. Riviel. Why? Well, he's obviously in denial. He likes. He likes these people. He's just like. You look so sad. Aww. I'll have to find a way to get across that running water. If only there was a bridge. Is that my hint? If only there was a bridge, is that my... Is that my hint? Is that my hint? Maybe, maybe she'd know if you weren't such a dick how to get across a fucking... <laughs> you! You know about a bridge. Even though I've been working here for many years, I still can't get used to this place. If only there was a bridge, can I take these crosses and make a bridge out of them? <laughs> oh. Alright. Alright. Uh. Mm. If only there was a bridge. Alright, we're gonna find the bridge on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I I love this game. This game is a good game. 
It's a very good game. Very heartfelt. A lot of shit going on. Uh, there's moments I have I have a hard time acting, but hey, my acting's crap anyway, so screw it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, notification, all that stuff that, you know, blobby skip. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you when I make another one.